Hello everyone from Rabbit Bandrew. This is a review of one of Hornby's new trucks for 2011, um, a seven plank wagon which is uh, called Consolidated Steam Fishing and Ice Company Limited, Grimsby. So let's uh, take a look at the box which is pretty much the same as Hornby's usual rolling stock boxes. There's nothing outstanding about them but then again why should there be? Um, on the end it usually says what it is, so this is a bit out of place, it's slanted. But this is a seven plank wagon, as I said, Consolidated Fisheries Limited. So, let's uh, let's open her up. That's just Enid the chicken wandering in the garage. Anyway, <laughs> on with opening up the uh, Consolidated Fisheries truck. So, I mean these boxes are really easy to open and there's not much chance of damaging the thing you're trying to open. So I'll just put the box to one side and uh, yeah it's just a fold back plastic casing, moulded casing to protect it and then the truck is inside. So this is the truck and uh, it's, it's light, which I quite like actually, because generally things don't tend to jump too much once you get the track sorted out, and it means the trains don't struggle too much with it. So that's first impressions. Uh, also, first off, it's got the, the large couplings, which I quite like, because they're easy to couple up, compared to the small ones, which I find quite hard to couple up at the other end of the layout, just uh, when you want them to. So. I think those are quite good. I think you can replace them with the smaller NEM couplings if you really need to. But I really don't notice the difference between big and small couplings. I can still see the couplings, so I sort of have the one that always couples up. Um, yeah, as I said, it's a seven plank wagon, so that's seven up the side. So quite a big one, really. One of the biggest of this type you can get. And uh, yeah, oh. All oh, the little coupling hooks fallen off. Probably just because I've been handling it a lot. Now yeah, clips back in. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to take it off, I suppose you could. Um, wheels are pretty good. They spin well. Um, so yeah, that that should be easy rolling. Let's just give it a test. Yeah, fairly easy. That rolls quite easily. Maybe not as well as some, but. That means the train won't be struggling too much to pull it. Um, inside it's got a dark grey painting colour which which uh, well they do all sorts of different colours. Uh, I'll find some in a minute. Uh, they do brown and grey, light grey and things. I quite like the dark one because if you put dark things in it, or even light things, it brings them out more or hides them. Um, but yeah, after the weathering, which I'll show you in a minute, um, Anything can look quite good actually. Oh, we've still got Enid the chicken wandering down the garage, so I just go and just go and stop her. Right, and that's Enid sorted out, but rapidly coming back in. So we'll carry on. Um, yeah, and really nice detailing throughout actually. Uh, the little brake, well, rods, handles, levers, things, suspension, all finely cast and nice. Uh, even the tiny writing down here, I mean, it's vaguely legible, but, it, you know, whether it was or not, it still looks nice from a distance. Um, nice clear writing actually looks like it's been painted on, as they would be, by hand. And uh, even, the, even the squiggly writing there. Uh, yeah, really nice looking. Um, of course it's not a sprung buffered truck. There's not really much point in putting sprung breaths on, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, the coupling's come off again. Back in. Uh, yeah, a little coupling hook. That's quite nice, because some of them just have stubs. So, yeah, that's nice. Uh, hatches where they fall out at the bottom and sides. and Yeah, standout detailing on the sides. See what stands out? It's not just... Yeah, uh, yeah nicely painted details. So, yeah, really nice detailed professional looking truck that would be brilliant even on an exhibition professional layout.